Hi everyone and welcome to another installment of Mego Museum's Mint Off Card. We are still in the midst of Wave 7, but I am taking a break from Monsters. Instead, this week I thought it would be fun to delve into Wave 7's movie category. They've got a few new entities and licenses debuting in Wave 7, and this is one of them. We are looking at the Lord of the Rings Legolas figure. While I am not a big Tolkien fan, I will admit I saw those movies and thought they were pretty great, and they were something of a phenomenon at the time, so this makes a lot of sense. Migo has launched the series with two of the most popular characters, namely Aragorn, or Strider, I guess, and our subject today, Legolas, the elf archer who was portrayed by heartthrobby actor Orlando Bloom. Turning this card on the back, I noticed that the trivia question is on this one, and it is, how many orcs does Legolas kill at Hem's Deep? 42 or 43 is the answer. The credits are no surprise to anyone who's been following this series. Dr. Migo is, of course, the consultant. Head sculpt by Andrew Kovalt, who has been taking on a large amount of Wave 7. And the seamstress work was done by none other than Rachel Baker. You guessed it. The art on the card appears to be a map of Middle-earth uh, mixed in with the One True Ring and the logo, of course. It's really actually quite nice in person. This seems something of a good idea for Migo, seeing as the Amazon is going to be releasing a Lord of the Rings television series soon, and I think this has a very deep fan base. I just wonder if they will all become Migo heads because of it. Well... With that being said, let's take this guy off the card and see what's going on. Hang tight. There you have them, folks. Migo Legolas. One of the things that Paul Clark brings to the table at Migo Corp is a little bit of a tie to the past. He always throws Easter eggs in when he can and reuses original Migo parts to kind of keep that connection. And there's two really telling parts on this guy. One, the most obvious one, is his bow is, of course, the same one that was used by Robin Hood and his Merry Men and, of course, the Green Arrow. But the second one's a little more subtle, and that is Legolas is wearing some nice Romulan boots. That's awesome. The figure itself has a removable cowl in the form of his hooded cape, uh, and it's held on there by a little bit of elastic, and I think it provides great effect. The outfit is really well done. I, I think it's just great for, you know, depicting what a Middle Earth outfit would be, and while it's, of course, made of newer material... It does kind of give me that wonderful Mego vibe, and I'm, I'm very fond of it. I personally applaud the decision to go with sculpted hair. I think it just works a lot better, especially when you have kind of a funky hairstyle like Legolas does. This just works, and kudos to Mego for doing it. All in all, even though I'm not a huge fan of the franchise, I think this is a really well-made figure and quite nice. And I'm actually going to pick up Aragorn. He was not included in the uh, comp from Mego Corp, but I, I think I need one. I, I like these guys. They fit in well with the knights. I want to express my gratitude again to Mego Corporation for allowing me this early sneak peek. It has been so much fun doing this. You can talk to Migo Corp on their Facebook group, Migo Ambassadors. If you haven't joined already, that is the way to talk to them, get exclusive reveals, and of course, let them hear your feedback. 
What do you think of the Lord of the Rings? Are you a fan? Are you going to pick these up just because they're Mego? Let me know on the comments below, or you can hit me up in our Facebook group, Mego Mania, or, you know, hit me up at the Mego Museum forums at MegoMuseum.com. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'll have another Mint on card by the end of the week. Until then, buy what you like. Take care. <laughs>